Welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. So in a recent episode of CVP Cast, where Rob and I interviewed Gal Zavon, she recommended that we spend time practicing and learning assembly language if we have any interest in learning how to reverse engineer programs. Now, I don't have very much personal interest in learning how to reverse engineer programs, but I did realize that I have not actually practiced writing assembly language in quite some time. If you watch these uh, shows on this YouTube channel, then you're probably pretty well aware that I read a lot of assembly language. So I thought that I would spend some time practicing writing assembly language, and what better tool to do that in than my C++ box that I introduced in a recent episode of this channel. So I have it up here, and now granted, this is written such that as I type in C++ code, it compiles and executes that C++ code. But of course, it is possible to do inline assembly in C++. So let's go ahead and create our main. And I have the disassembly being shown over here, and right now it's just a bunch of labels, statements, whatever, but you can see that it is clearing out um, our zero and then returning back from main, and right now I just have a blank screen in my emulator. So I'm going to put in a little while loop here just to make sure that we don't actually exit from main, and that's okay for our purposes at the moment. And we're going to now put in our inline assembly block. And it looks something kind of like this. This doesn't have anything in it yet. We'll put an empty statement in it. And this should compile again. There's nothing in here. Now, what we need to do is we want to write some data starting at the beginning of the screen frame buffer. And in this virtual computer, the C++ box that I created for myself because I thought that it would be fun to do, we have memory that starts at the location that is 8 megabytes in. So there's 10 megabytes total accessible to this virtual computer and 8 megabytes of it is for user code and the last 2 megabytes is where the video memory starts. So I'm going to start by setting up register 0 with the start to that pointer. And fortunately, the dialect of assembly language that we can write in here does this kind of constant folding math expressions for us. So I've got this 83888608 is the start of our video memory, and that's set up in register R0. Now, I want to write data to this memory, so I'm going to put the value that I'm writing to that memory in R1, so that is going to be the value 255. Now I want to store a byte that is currently in R0 to the location pointed to in, excuse me, store a byte that is in R1 to the location currently pointed to in R0. Sorry about that. So I have written one byte of memory here. And now I want to increment the value that I am writing to and I want to write four bytes total because this is an RGBA display and that A actually does mean something here. So I'm writing the value 255 four times and I need to do this increment. So I'm going to do a add the add of the value 1 into the register R0 and then store the result in the register R0. So I'm moving forward which byte I am writing. And now I have a single white pixel right here. It is rather tiny, but we can, with the controls here, increase the zoom of this output display up to five times. And we can look at our registers and we can see that we started at, or we, that we have finished at the memory location 800003. So that is the last byte of memory that we wrote. 
and then we finish the assembly block and then it just holds here stable for us and our, this is the current program counter and we can play with this a little bit and say that we want to let's say not write the red value and now we have a cyan pixel which might be hard for you to see there so let's go ahead and see if we can write more than one of these pixels creating a loop label and then I am going to branch to the loop location and we get an entire screen filled with white now we are as you can see just running through memory right now because we didn't do anything to break out of this loop and I'm probably not going to bother changing that for the sake of this episode of C++ Weekly but this is a starting place that you could play with you can play with writing assembly language in the C++ box and like I said this is available on GitHub you can play with it you're probably going to run into some problems getting it set up on your computer because I haven't fully tested it for deployment and everything yet but it does now pass all tests on all continuous integration builds. I've got Windows and many builds of Linux running with different compilers. So um, I said before that that RGBA, that the A means something here. So let's just, for the fun of it, take this back to writing the value 128. So this is going to be kind of a gray. But it's kind of a gray, but it's also kind of a translucent gray so as you can see here that a actually does mean something with the frame buffer we can see through it so you can have fun writing various different things to the screen and um, playing with what you can do here with the C++ box arm emulator and playing around with some assembly language. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Like I said before, I'm going to be using the C++ box and episodes more often now. So um, I hope you enjoy this episode. Thanks.